Number 19 in the 42 Ideas on Leadership comes to us from Edward de Bono. Now, specifically here, we're going to be looking at Edward de Bono's book, The Six Thinking Hats. However, de Bono, or Edward de Bono, has written scores and scores of books on how to think better and how to improve your life. Basically, he's a genius, and I would recommend any of the books that he has published over the years, and you can also find a lot of information on him on the internet and his ideas on the internet. Six thinking hats are these ideas laid out here, and it's a way of helping us to think more clearly on an individual and on a group basis. We're going to look at each of these six hats, the facts, figures and information, the white hat, the red, the intuition, emotion, yellow, logical, positive, black, judgment and caution, green, creativity and alternatives, and the blue, the overview, process and control in a moment. First idea that we're going to look at in relation to the six thinking hats is that very often, if you're at a meeting, a lot of the time is spent on analysis and very little time is spent in the meeting on taking the right decision. People argue, people fight, people try to push their own agendas. This means that a lot of the time of the meeting is wasted in the analysis stage. The six thinking hats streamlines the analysis so that we do the analysis quite quickly and then we're able to spend more time taking the right decision. In fact, sometimes the six thinking hats is such an effective process of analysis that the decision is taken naturally by it. The other benefit of the six thinking hats at a meeting is that very often at a meeting you have conflict and you have people confronting each other even though they may at the beginning not have a problem with each other at the end they may because of the conflict that's generated in the meeting the six thinking hats avoids people confronting each other and gets people working together the first hat and in the way i've always applied the six thinking hats is that the blue hat is a person and then the other five hats are stages of the meeting however this is simply one application of the six thinking hats so the blue hat at the beginning would define what the process is how we define the system focusing on specific areas identifying what alternatives might be what we're going to talk about setting what the limits to this meeting are is it exploration or design or decision taking and what is it that we would like to end up with at the end of the meeting so this is the blue hat uh, if if it is a person that you decide to take uh, this role uh, or this hat through the entire meeting it's very similar to a facilitator role not exactly chairperson more facilitator the first stage would be where the blue hat would say okay everybody put on their white hats this is also always related to the concept of putting on your thinking hat. Many years ago, I did a course on De Bono, and some people were confused and felt that they physically had to put on a hat. But this is just a metaphor for our different ways of thinking and perceiving the world. So the first one, the white hat, is looking at the facts, only the facts, and these can be confirmed and unconfirmed. Now, when we're talking about facts, an example would be, it's very hot in Spain. That is not actually a fact, unless we have defined what hot is. If you're saying it's 35 degrees today in Madrid, that is a fact. Hot, however, is completely subjective, because maybe you're coming from somewhere that's even hotter and it doesn't feel that hot in Spain. Now, when we're talking about confirmed and unconfirmed, this also means that we can continue with the conversation rather than fighting about whether we know a fact to be true or not. If we're not sure if a fact is definitely true, we write beside it unconfirmed. Later in the meeting, if we feel that we need that fact before we can take a final decision, then we would have to confirm it. However, if we decide later on in the meeting that it's not important, then we have not wasted valuable time trying to confirm unimportant facts. The next hat is the red hat. We now know and we're very aware of the fact that emotions, not only are emotions important because they make us who we are, but that we cannot prioritize or take proper decisions without emotion. So separating them artificially or thinking that we're separating them from a meeting or thinking process is not a good idea. In the bonus six thinking hats, emotions are given their own stage in the meeting. 
So everybody is allowed to give their opinion, their feeling, their intuition, and they do not necessarily have to justify these feelings. Um, because if people feel forced into justifying them, then they might hide their emotions. If people feel that they can express their emotions without worrying about anybody attacking them, then everybody is free to say it. That also means that you don't have any conflict. You might be happy with the, the idea of going to a new country and investing there. I might not be happy with that idea, but that's okay. We do not have to apologize for our emotions. The next one is positive or logical or the benefits or the values, how to make something work, the yellow hat. So we're looking at positive aspects of the idea, but they have to be logical. We're looking at the benefits of something. We're looking at what our values are maybe as a company or an organization, and we're looking at ways to make things work. The black, extremely important. Instead of one person being identified as the devil's advocate, everybody has to adopt this stage. This means that we have to be critical, we have to be cautious, we have to assess risks, this is very important and we shouldn't just make one person the black hat so they're always considered the critical person. This is something we all have to engage in, critical thinking. The green hat stage is where we are creative. No judgments are allowed. All possibilities can be put on the table. We look at alternatives. We may even provoke uh, people with our ideas, but not in a personal way, but provoking them into thinking about new ways of looking at things. Some of the ideas that come out of the green hat stage may warrant or deserve their own six hat thinking, a six thinking hat meeting later on. Then finally, we go back to the blue hat again, who summarizes what's happened in the meeting, looks at the next steps, focuses again on what we've done and sees what we've achieved in the meeting and possibly then takes a decision. At this point, possibly the blue hat will become more of a group thing rather than an individual thing, depending on the style of leader or style of facilitator at the meeting. Together then, these are the six thinking hats by De Bono, a very effective way of running meetings, avoiding conflict and taking the most effective decisions possible, and also understanding the way we think. It's used in organizations, it's used in schools, and it's used on a personal basis. That's number 19 in the 42 Ideas on Leadership from Edward de Bono, Six Thinking Hats, originally published in 1985.